A trio of local businesses is stepping up to make sure the 4th of July fireworks show in Cambria is a booming success. KSBY's Asia Gore talked with the people making sure the show goes on despite depleted funds. Asia? That's right, Karina. You can't put a price on freedom, but the cost of Independence Day fireworks shows is thousands of dollars, which is tough for a small town like Cambria to fund. But some local businesses are teaming up with the Cambria American Legion to make it happen. All day there's music and games, pie eating contests. And then at night after sunset, the fireworks come on. And for a little town, the fireworks show is kind of amazing. The annual Independence Day celebration in Cambria is an exciting day for Bob Casper, who owns a real estate company in Cambria. Sure, he's patriotic, but for Casper, July 4th is another special anniversary. My wife and I got engaged on the 4th of July, and I told her that one of the reasons was that she'd be able to see fireworks for the rest of her life on the day that we got engaged. That's why Casper said yes when the American Legion of Cambria asked him to step up and help fund this year's fireworks show. For more than two decades, the Legion has sponsored the Freedom Festival at Shamel Park, but the rising cost of pyrotechnics, more than 16 grand this year, left the budget with a short fuse. You know, it's kind of putting our best foot forward in a sense, and, and that's, that never hurts anybody. John Lynn, who owns Lynn's Restaurant, says his decision to co-sponsor the fireworks display is a community investment. We have for uh, about 10 years now done a 4th of July pie eating contest at the Shamel Park, and that's indicative of the kind of support we've always had. Bob Casper Real Estate, Lynn's Restaurant, and Cambria newcomer Dow Vineyards and Winery contributing a combined $15,000 to make sure this show goes on. It's just neat that the community can come together like that to provide the fireworks. Fourth of July and Pine Dorado and Cambria are the two things that help define the town and what they are. The Legion says if it didn't get help from these sponsors, it would have lost money from a fund it uses to support local charities. Live in the studio, I'm Asia Gore, KSBY News. All right, thanks for the update, Asia. And the businesses have even agreed to help fund the fireworks show for the next few years. In return, the Legion will help advertise for the three sponsors.